Good morning everybody from Rangeley Lake State Park. Today's the day we start working our way back home again, but first we gotta get some breakfast going. <laughs> so uh, I am gonna use up what I got left for bacon and I am gonna make myself an omelet. So it's not the prettiest omelet ever. <laughs> Just finished making it. Just simple uh, cheddar cheese, a little bit of mozzarella too this time, and some bacon in it. So that kills off all my eggs and all my bacon. <laughs> so Definitely time to go home. I just realized I had my image stabilization turned off again. Ugh. I turned it off because the camera will give me a wider field of view when I do. So it's better when I'm just it sitting on the tripod and I'm having it in front of me cooking and stuff. But sometimes I forget to turn it back on again. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, we're all packed up here. We're ready to take off. Sun's starting to peek out a little bit too, which is good. Fog's burning off, so maybe we'll get some good views of the height of land and... Uh, Goose Canyon and things like that, so we're going to take a look at those on the way home. Uh, and unfortunately, it is time to leave. You can see everything's packed up, weather stations put away, stools put away. Site is empty, so nothing left here, so just walk down, drop the trash off, get everything cleaned up. Hopefully, we get all the drawers in the van secure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to take off. So, ah. Uh, it was a fun stay here. And the colors are starting to come up a little bit too, so hopefully we'll get some good views uh, on the way home. Alright, well, we got to decide while we're heading home where, what we're going to do, if we're going to stay one more night, or if we're going to uh, just uh, book it all the way home from here. But first, work our way down to Coos Canyon there, because I want to stop in the rock shop and do some uh, looking around in there and go from there. So, we'll catch you on the road. to be back up here. Two years ago I took one of my favorite photos of my van, Wolf Van Jack, at the overlook of Varangy Lake. You can see it here. This is this is the second ever adventure I took with my van I took this photo on. And today I got to recreate it. And yeah, it's nice to be back up here. I'm glad I came. Well, sunny and warmer than I expected, but <laughs> it was worth it. All right, we're gonna move on to uh, a uh, height of land next. Today ended up being mostly a driving day, but I got to stop in and see all the overlooks and things like that. So that was good. And then once I left uh, Coos Canyon there, I just went for a drive. And uh, just did some exploring a bit. But mainly just driving, but... So where am I now? I'm at uh, White Lake State Park in Tamworth, New Hampshire. I, I originally stopped at White Ledge campground in the White Mountain National Forest in Conway, but it was right on the edge of Route 16. And it was quite noisy there. <laughs> I did not, I, I didn't enjoy it at all. And I was smelling somebody smoking pot. And uh, Yeah, it was, it was, it just, it didn't feel right. And I realized this campground was only 10 minutes south of there. So I hopped back in my van and headed down here and went up to the uh, office and asked them for the quietest campground they had here, campsite they had here. And, this is the one they gave me. It's not bad, it's not super quiet, but it's a heck of a lot quieter than uh, White Ledges. <laughs> White Ledge was terrible. That was a campground I absolutely will not go back to now. But this is White Lake. <laughs> Strange naming that they're both white and they're both 10 minutes from each other, but this is White, Lakes, White Lake State Park. And look behind my campsite here. I get my own brook. Over there. <laughs> Over things. 
and over here pretty quiet so I probably won't hear it in the van tonight but it's still nice having a little brook right behind my van yeah it's unfortunately piped under the under the roadway here but what can you do but before I get everything set up on the van here I'm gonna I want to take a little walk I want to go see White Lake because <laughs> I only got a few hours of daylight left and uh, I want to I want to make the most of it so so we're gonna take a little little jaunt down there it looks like there might be a hiking trail that goes around White Lake so maybe I'll do the hiking trail what the heck yeah, get a little hike in here before I uh, start making dinner. I'm gonna go decide what I actually feel like making for dinner. Oh yeah, and uh, of all the uh, campgrounds I've been to, I've never been to one that has wrist straps that you're supposed to put on uh, to walk around the park. I'm not gonna put it on. I'm just gonna keep it in my pocket. But <laughs> I'll have it with me if somebody actually stops me and asks me about it. But I'm sure the van is locked up here before I take off. And uh, yeah, Gaia shows us a trail around the lake, so let's go see it. It might be interesting to see. I wonder if I should grab my camera too. Yeah, I probably should, just in case. But, but yeah, if I bring up Gaia, Gaia GPS there, I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, there is a trail that goes around. It looks like it's only about 1.3 miles, so let's go see White Lake. Oops. Certainly an active and busy little beach. <laughs> a lot of people there. Yeah. And this is a, a cold, cold e yeah, evening in September. Imagine what that place is like in the summertime. Uh, all right, so we're going down the road. That's I guess the sign says this is the uh, la boat launch area for personal watercraft. So we're heading down that way, but it looks like the trail starts over there too. So. We will see. Okay, there seems to be two boat launches side by side. This is uh, more of a general public access one. Because this one goes around the state park. So I'm guessing people can drive up here. I don't know if uh, people who use this boat launch need permission or not. But this is like a, a boat launch here. And then right next door is a secondary boat launch. <laughs> which is accessible from people in the state park. So, this is where I'm actually crossing into the state park now, yeah, so I'll have to cross this bridge. And as you can see, it's a fee area, so if you cross in here, you're supposed to pay to be here. You have to pay at least the day use area. Since I'm a camper, I can just come in here. Ugh. In and out, because I'm here already. I've got these uh, cement uh, things here, uh, but, oh, ooh, mud, lovely. <laughs> Why is that like a railroad track? Isn't it? No, it's a pipe. Okay. <laughs> They've got something piped underground here, but it'll almost look like a railroad track. That's wild. Okay. All the duckies. Nice little mountain peak over there. Right, this looks like it can be a trail over here, so let's find out. What that sign up there on the tree says. God, I can hear the people out on the beach all the way over here. Still pretty noisy, but it'll be okay. To, yeah, I bet it will get pretty quiet overnight. And I'm sure I'm going to deal with some mud on this trail too. But anyway, ah, dog walkers, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a pet pet allowed area, but they're not allowed on the beach. So, so have to have to either walk their pets out and then walk them back again. I guess there's no way of getting through the whole loop. Oh yeah, a lot of mud here. <laughs> uh, yuck. Uh, this is gonna be fun. All right.
Well, that was a nice new bridge to walk across. It looks like they're uh, in the process of building more of these too, which is great to see. I love seeing trail maintenance going on in these places, but they got a stockpile of wood here and that. Nice pressure treated wood all ready to build some more of these bridges, so great. Especially with all the mud here. <laughs> it, it, it'll be a welcomed improvement. Uh, looks like we're a little bit more than halfway around the lake now. That's a pretty decent little walk here. I almost wish I had my kayak with me. It'd be fun to kayak this lake, but I didn't bring it this trip, so... Uh, maybe the next one. <laughs> I'll put it back on the van. And decide where I'm going to go on the next trip, though. It's only going to be two nights, I know that. I want to go up someplace with some uh, fall foliage to see. But I also want to go someplace where I can get there on a single tank of gas. There and back, because these trips are getting expensive. I'll look into some of the... Uh, free camping options again too, but chances are I probably won't find anything that I really want to go to in early October in the free camping areas. Comes with its own risks, like having to deal with hunters and things like that, so <laughs> probably best sticking with the uh, paid campgrounds. But we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. What are you doing, little red squirrel? Yeah. You can come over and say hi? Yeah. No, I don't have any food for you. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Well, this is kind of interesting. I wonder what was here. Two concrete pillars here. They're obviously holding something. Maybe a tank? Look like a tank holders to me. And you got uh, these tree logs? Or, you know, I guess these are just tree logs that were cut down. It's funny how perfectly positioned they are, though. Huh. Curious. A little signage, just graffiti, unfortunately. Always graffiti. And no signage any place saying what this is, or was. Huh. No idea. Anybody has any clue what this is, let me know. We've reached the end of the trail here, coming back to the beach from the other side now. We made it all the way around. Huh. Nice little viewing spot here. Let's check this out here before we head over. Whoa, look at those mountains. Very nice. Yeah, so I'm over here getting ready to make myself some dinner. <laughs> I found out my pizza crust exploded. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if it's uh, got too cold in the fridge, got too warm in the fridge, the pressure changes from driving up and down mountains, but it exploded. Ah, man, <laughs> that was one of the one of the dinners that actually uh, uh, that one was the one that was probably going to get bumped because I went out to the uh, restaurant with my friend last night for dinner. So I was going to save that one. I was going to save, bring the pizza crust home and save it for uh, for the next trip because it was still good. And now it exploded on me. Man, <laughs> that stinks. I hate throwing food away, but now it's going to take in some of the weird flavor from the fridge and everything. And I don't want that. And it's just, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, I am, however, going to make some spaghetti meatballs. Those are pretty still, still pretty well frozen, so... Let's say this fridge is doing a pretty good job here, so maybe the thing got too cold? I don't know. They say you can freeze those, so... I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to make some simple spaghetti... Simple and easy spaghetti and meatballs tonight for dinner. Because it's uh, 
It's already getting pretty late and I'm tired. I don't want to do it, put a lot of effort into making dinner right now, so. Uh, so I'm just going to sit down, have some uh, spaghetti and meatballs, and uh, relax by the fire pit for a little while here. But unfortunately, it's getting too dark for me to be able to record outside now, so. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll check back in after dinner. Man, I'm getting tired. <laughs> been, a, been a busy day. It's almost 10.30 now, so. Oh, last night on the road here, but it's something new to show you. Uh, there's a little uh, gift shop uh, and rock shop type of place over at Coos Canyon. And I stopped in there uh, after I did the uh, footage of the canyon and that. I, I went in there and did a little looking around and I found something I, I, that I, I just had to have. <laughs> Okay, so so you've seen this little stool here that I've got. I bought it uh, a year or so ago at Walmart, and it's been working well. But it's not the most comfortable place to sit. It doesn't have a back on it, things like that. Well, I got a new version of it from that little shop. This one aside. A new one. It's a little bit bigger. A little bit more comfortable. It's got some padding to it. And it's got a back on it too. Which is great. It's also a little taller too. <laughs> and way, way, way more comfortable. Uh, so it was 30 bucks. A little pricey. I think I only paid like $12 for the uh, other one. But it's very comfortable. Like I said, it's got a back on it. It's got padding down here. It's got the back on it. The only thing I wish it had was casters I could roll it around on the floor with. But <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be a nice addition. I'm looking forward to uh, getting some more use with this now. Trying it out. Yeah, it's gonna. It's. I think it's going to work out pretty well here. Yeah, I mean. Uh, what I really need is something that has a swivel base on it, casters, and can adjust the height on it. But for now, this is definitely going to be a nice uh, nice setup here. The kind of chairs I'm talking about are well over $100, and I just don't have it right now. 30 bucks was pushing it as it was, but <laughs> it was worth it. It's comfortable, and I think it's going to be a nice setup here. So I'm looking forward to uh, more use with it. And with that, I am getting pretty tired, so I think I'm going to head off to bed here. So... We'll see you in the morning for the uh, final leg of this journey. So good morning. Still here at White Lake State Park, Tamworth, New Hampshire. I slept pretty good last night, which was great. A lot quieter than the uh, first campground I attempted. Sorry I didn't get any videos there, but it was noisy. But I slept real good here. Unfortunately I didn't hear the little brook out behind the van at all, but we did have a small rainstorm come through during the night, which is why I threw all the chairs and that in the van. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it would be nice if the brook had a little bit more flow to it, but eh, it's still nice to listen to it out here. Anyway, we're not going to dawdle this morning here. we got a few things we got to pack back in the van. we got to secure everything again, and we're going to hit the road pretty early today. Uh, uh, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> uh, it's time there, so I want to get on the road probably by 9, if I can. So get home before noon. So, <laughs> breakfast today is just a simple bowl of oatmeal. And it's in a market basket brand uh, container here, so less dishes to wash, and it's paper too, so it will degrade. So. Hmm. This will get me home. It's only about a two-hour drive from here to get home, so shouldn't be a big deal. All right. So we got everything packed up here. Things back in the van, everything's secured. Pretty much ready to take off. Got the weather station down again. 
I miss this little babbling brook. I'm not going to miss the uh, noise around here, but I'm going to miss the little babbling brook anyway. Very little babbling brook. But it makes it a little bit bigger than I could hear it from inside the van. But, uh, everything's packed away. I think before I depart, I'm going to walk down and take one more last look at uh, White Lake. See those mountains off on the other side of it. That was a really cool view to see. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And then it'll be departure time. Time to go home. What a beautiful lake. All those mountains off in the distance. All hazy today too. So there's some uh, interesting photo opportunities here. So, And all I have is my cell phone on me. I'm gonna take a few pictures before I take off too here. But yeah. This is actually a good time of year to visit this place. It's quiet here. <laughs> I would not want to be here in the summertime. I have a feeling this place would be packed. But this time of year, not bad. I have to remember this. A few trails I'd like to explore and things like that, so... Might be worth another couple of night visits sometime. So that's it. We're all packed up. We're ready to head home. It was a fun little adventure. Uh, <laughs> certainly wasn't uh, didn't end quite the way I had planned, but it was fun meeting up with my friend Brian there up uh, up in Rangeley. <laughs> Just you never know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and now we're taking off. So it would take, take me about two hours to get home, probably a little bit more because I'll probably have to stop and use the facilities at some point. But pretty much just shoot down 16 to uh, 95 and 95 back home. So. So thanks for joining me on this adventure. I don't think I'm going to come across anything else to uh, pull the camera out for, but you never know. But uh, it's been a lot of fun here. But remember, slow down and enjoy life. And we'll talk to you guys later.